All right, more conversation about video games. <clears throat> I don't play a ton of video games. I remember a long time ago, played a game called Pong. That was pretty cool. Most of you don't remember that. That was the original video game, Pong. Um, but I, I was talking to one of my younger friends, young Jacob, and he was telling me about in video games, they have people that are called NPCs. And I was like, what in, what in the world is an NPC? That's a non-player character, right? Non-player character. So that means it's just somebody who's in the game, kind of running around, who's not controlled by anybody, just kind of there. <clears throat> and I start thinking about that. You know, in 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 our lives, you know, we all we all have the one life, as far as we know. And you know, what are you going to do with that life? And you can, unfortunately, you know, some people will be jackasses. All right, they'll just be people that are complainers and. They whine a lot, but they're never really happy. They don't bring people up, they bring people down. They tend to get ignored, okay, by people like me, ignore them, but they're there. So in the video game, you've got your jackasses, okay? And then you've got your heroes, you know, the people with the good avatars that are rolling through there and they're getting rid of the bad guys, getting rid of the jackasses, <clears throat> and they're moving forward. And I, th I think that everyone obviously ought to want to be a hero, right? You, and, and again, I think one of the places we get messed up <clears throat> is we think, well, a he to be a hero, <clears throat> you've got to be, you know, Elon Musk today. He's today's hero, right? That's a hero, you know, or, um, you know, Bruce Willard, Bruce Willis in Die Hard. You know, there's a hero, the first one, okay? Love that one. <clears throat> but we think of those kinds of heroes. And what I want to talk about heroes, like just around here where I live in South Carolina, We've got heroes that have built the greatest minor league baseball team in the league right here in Greenville. And he, he spends all of his time making it a wonderful place for families to come and people to have concerts and you know all these wonderful things. And so um, that's a hero to me. You know, Craig Brown's a real hero in, in our community. Or Mike Bauer, who, who he and his partner started ScanSource right here in Greenville, you know, 30 years ago, and it's a $4 billion a year tech company right now in Greenville, offices all over the world. He's a hero, you know, right here in Greenville. So <clears throat> there's, there's quite a few. My old partner, Larry Blackwell, you know, he built the biggest software company in South Carolina um, and, and spawned, you know, 60 or 70 other tech companies since then from that group of people. You know, Larry's a hero, and there's there's quite a few people that are real heroes that really did something in our community and in our world. So I would urge you to be a hero in your area. And if you end up being like a national hero or, you know, you can take us to Mars or something, that's great. But in the meantime, be a hero where you are and don't be an NPC. NPC, non-player character, those are people who are just in the middle and they're not really bothering anybody, but they're not really doing anything. And I feel like that's kind of a wasted, you know, kind of a wasted life. And I would encourage you, even if you're somewhere in the middle, find some place, you know, that you can be a hero and you can be a winner, whether it's coaching your, your church basketball team to a championship or, uh, or running the best uh, sales department uh, in Greenville. I don't know. Anyway, don't be an NPC. Don't be a jackass. Be a hero. Win the game.